for the Mrs. Universe competition. It's going to be like right. Popeye. Right. Popeye. So what's my kind yeah. of spinach? Yes. Spinach, right? <laughs> <laughs> Pumping oh, iron. Pumping iron. Yeah, yeah. 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 You mean pump an iron like your Theo Diego? Uh, right. <laughs> Strong woman. Ooh. She's all like, you can dead squat yeah. way more than you yeah. Diego. Yeah. <laughs> tried on those those finger puppets. Oh yeah. And that she was just like staring at you. She was. She like, was. She How was do you do that? <laughs> I would change from one animal to the other. She was all, whoa, that was just a horse, I swear. <laughs> like she would just have to look on her face like, what is she? How does she do that? That was magic. It was huh? not magic. It really makes you think like in perspective about like the magic of being a kid. Oh my god. Like gosh. when you remember the yeah. magic of being a kid. Yeah. Because it's like how much your parents did to make mm -hmm. being a kid so magical for mm -hmm. you. Because mm -hmm. they didn't have to, but they did all these things that yes. you don't even know about. That mm -hmm. you're like, wow. Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right, this is January 7th, 2019, about 2 p.m. in the afternoon. And here is Eli de la Huerta and Brianna and Eliana with their baby. And yes, Bree is nursing the baby. Not for sale on the internet, we will say that. <laughs> uh, here, let me get a, get a real close in here. Oh, come on, Pat. Ah. Wonderful. All right, good night, baby. Eli. Do you have anything you want to say about Eliana? Anything about your baby and your lovely wife? I would say that I love them very much and I can't wait to grow old together. And um, I know she's going to do well with whatever she wants to do. And that's her choice. So. Wonderful. So you love your wife, you love your baby. I do. And a happy relationship that exists for all of you. Exactly. All right. I just can't wait for her to get old. Mm -hmm. For him to be a toddler running mm -hmm. around, mm -hmm. saying stuff. And be a teenager and <laughs> tell us to get out of a room. Oh. Leave me alone, you don't even know. Because mm -hmm. huh. we don't even know what it's like to be that age. And she can do whatever activity she wants to do, whether she wants to play sports or participate in art. I think I'm just excited for that mostly. Just like to watch her grow and develop yeah. and... Yeah. Exciting to see what the possibilities are yes. and all of that. Yeah. Same for you, Bree? Oh, definitely. Mm. Just excited to see her personality develop mm. and her, her little brain blossom and bloom and mm. to see how strong and independent and smart she is and, and to see us <laughs> grow as parents. Grow together. Grow, yeah, yeah, grow together as parents mm -hmm. and as people mm. from being instead of us being, you know, 12 year old kids that we were when we met each other and now we're parents. Mm -hmm. So we get to grow get to grow you into a 12 year old <laughs> kid and then a 16 year old kid and then a full grown adult, huh? Mm -hmm. huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah nice. All right. So Rosie, what is it about being a Nana that really inspires you? Being a Nana? Oh You're a Nana, gosh. right? No, 
Yes, I'm a Nana and a great Nana. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. She is my great granddaughter. So it's like watching all over Eli's smiles again. Oh. Uh. And that's wonderful to be able to still be alive and see that. And she has a beautiful smile, doesn't she? She, she does really. Have a beautiful smile. Yeah. <laughs> when she laughs, it reminds me of when Eli was a baby and when he would laugh. Uh -huh. And how it just warms my heart. Mm -hmm. Being a grandmother, you, you can't e explain that to someone and, until they've been a grandparent. Uh -huh. And that love is so. Deep. It's just, you know, you love your children, uh -huh. but you're so busy when they're growing up that you don't get to do all the fun things and the playful things. And but when that grandchild comes comes along, I think you get to make up for all that stuff, <laughs> you know, and you get to spoil them and you get to say, it's okay if they make a mess, I can clean it up later. <laughs> oh, a little piece of candy here, a little piece of the donut's not going to hurt them. And now, just stop. Just stop. So, yes. So that's the joy of being an honor, right? That's the joy of being an honor, yes. Oh, I, I can bring you closer, Rosie. I'm oh, good. I'm but mother. you can. Yeah. Oh, kisses. Yeah. Kisses. Say, so we're just looking at.